want to go into commercial snail farming, how much of the space do I need? How big should it be? And how many sm- um, snails sorry, would I need to start? Okay, so commercial is relative. But to okay. us, commercial starts from 700 pieces of snails to start with. And then we can go up to even 2,000 to 3,000 snails per greenhouse that we do. And then we also consider uh, greenhouses as the commercial uh, stage because most people start from smaller boxes and then grow into the greenhouses. So in terms of space, you are looking at uh, anywhere from five meters squared or five meters by five meters uh, space as a commercial, uh, we consider it as commercial quantity. And that starts with about 700 snails or 700 points of lace to start with. So yeah, that's that's about about the size. And in terms of pricing, mm-hmm. so it starts from anywhere. So let me let me put it at this. We when we provide free training, we mm-hmm. encourage people to use resources around them. Okay. So if you have the resources of maybe doing something that is very good to start on your own, we encourage that because we do not make profit from building the structures, okay. but we rather make profit from buying back the snails and reselling. So we encourage people, even if you don't buy the structures from us, still come for free training. And once you are, you think you can build your own structures, you can do that. But the ones that we build, for instance, uh, is five meters by five meters. It comes with a water storage tank, a thousand liter on a stand with irrigation and all the cool meninis. That starts at 36,000 CVs. And it comes with 700 snails attached. It comes with sensors that will test the humidity uh, it comes with PPEs that you can protect yourself including leg uh, protective gears okay. that you can go in uh, it goes with the uh, treatment of soil will give you plants that you plant around the greenhouses as well to feed the snails okay. and to create a conducive environment so all that is a package at uh, 36,000 cities Okay. So you mentioned that you buy back the snails. Does it mean that you have a ready market for anyone who wants to go into snail farming? Yes. So that is why we started our projects. We saw that there was a large market for snails. And then we didn't want to do the Ghanaian way of just doing a verbal. So we sat down with our lawyers and their lawyers and we signed that. If we can get you this number every year, you buy it at this amount. And every year is, is scheduled to review. So we review the prices as per the market uh, value at that time. Yeah. Okay. What are the challenges? I mean, it's, the discussion we have, it all sounds rosy that if I go into it, it's going to be good. What are the challenges one should expect going into snail farming? Okay. Most people think that uh, snail farming is easy, but easy is relative. Easy, something easy for me can be a difficult thing for somebody else. So. We shouldn't think that, oh, you just buy them, throw them in there, and uh, go back a year later and expect returns, no. What you should be looking at is that, it's like every other endeavor, you have to put in work, a little bit of work. You have to put in a little bit of time, not too much time. Because for snails, for instance, all you need is about 30 minutes a day, and you are okay with that. But if you don't have that time, then I would, I would urge you not to go into it. Because uh, still, you it requires that you come in once a day to check how the temperature is, to check how the humidity, the water, the food, and every other thing that we've trained you on is so. And then there's also a little bit of diseases if you are not careful. So that's why we provide all the PPEs, including nose mask. We provide gloves. We provide leg, uh, some things to cover your shoes when you are entering. We do all that. So if you are able to go according to the code and practice mm-hmm. of what we have taught you, then sure, there wouldn't be too much to worry about. Mm-hmm. But most people, after a day or two, we say, ah, I don't think it's necessary. Mm-hmm. Everything is necessary. Okay. Everything that we spend money on, a system that we built is necessary for you to use it. And there's also a little bit of capital intensiveness when it comes to snails. Okay. Even though their feed is not as expensive as other animal uh, farming, where you have to spend a lot of money. For snails, a uh, thousand snails for the whole year, you spend about 8,000 CDs. 
on them okay. uh, for the whole year, which is still very conservative as compared to other animal, you know. And the interesting thing is you feed them once and then you're okay. So these are some of the, but for markets, we have you covered. Okay. So you don't need to look for market. We will buy everything back from you. Okay. So you mentioned for a commercial farmer, you start with 700. Trisolis will give you 700 snails. What's the growth rate of that 700 snails? Okay. So the interesting thing is that the ones we give you, uh, we we'll call them point of lace. Okay. So they are already ready to lay. They are sexually mature and they are ready to lay. Okay. Interesting facts about snails. Snails do not make noise or smell, like mm -hmm. we've already understood. Snails are hermaphrodites. Okay. So each of them have male and female body parts. Okay. And they are asexual and sexual at the same time. Meaning that, one, they can mate to give young ones. Okay. And they can also choose not to mate to give young ones. So okay. if they mate, the possibility of hatching is higher. But if they don't mate, then the possibility of hatching is a bit lower as compared to because it's not fertilized egg, mm -hmm. you know. So that is the difference between the, the snails and the egg laying part. So okay. in terms of metrics, this is how snails grow. Mm -hmm. So each individual snail can lay up to 100 to 120 eggs. Mm -hmm. But we tell people for business sake, we do 40 snails okay so we say you design for the worst case so that the best case happens you are happy okay. so we do 40 so if you have a thousand in there and now it will become 40,000 in a whole year and in a year the 40,000 if you're able to raise each one of them up to about 150 grams which is a year of feeding then we will buy at around three CDs per one for you. So that's how the metrics are. Okay. So what are some of the success stories you've experienced both as a business and as a farmer? Okay. So in terms of success, I see success as a, a, in a few different ways. For personally, I think I get fulfillment from the employment that I provide. Uh, especially as a young Guinean that you're able to provide employment for 22 people, you know, in 2023. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2022, I was having 57 people mm -hmm. uh, because we were doing the pepper attached to the snails as well. So okay. for me, success is being able to say, or someone saying that, oh, this is my boss. Mm -hmm. He has helped me, you know, be able to fend for my family. That touches me a lot. That is one most important part. And then when uh, I go somewhere and people say, oh, this is the Trisolis guy. Mm -hmm. And then everyone says, oh, okay, okay, you know. And I get excited because I think they see uh, the magnitude of where we have reached mm -hmm. far better than I, I can anticipate, which is so interesting because the way and manner they greet me and the way they smile and say, wow, you're doing excellent job, dancer man. And that, that really, you know, humbles me most of the time. And in terms of uh, outward success with the company, I would say that we are very credible. Okay. Uh, people see or hear the name Trisolis and associate it with a more credible and, you know, go to sort of place like our name implies solace mm. you know so that for instance has made us gone through a lot of uh, all the donor agencies like british council giz we've been through them they've vetted us currently we are with ghana uh, climate innovation okay. which is part of the canada groups uh, project and all these that we go to and we pass through successfully mm -hmm. Let us uh, prove to the international world that, oh yes, there's a company that is different from the usual Ghanaian mindset yeah. where the owner can just dip his hand into any money and buy a car for his wife. <laughs> Not that it's bad, but you know, company money, we don't use it that way. So yeah. in terms of credibility, I think that is also sorted out. And we've been able to recommend, or people come to us for recommendation on school, courses outside Ghana and our name has been very impactful on their applications which 
which means very good. And in terms of building greenhouses and providing employment, yeah. Price Solace itself does 22 people directly. Okay. And every greenhouse we build employs not less than two people okay. per greenhouse. Okay. And we've built, a, uh, we've built 210 greenhouses okay. as of 2023. Uh, September okay. and we still have about 20 in line to build so far before mm -hmm. even the year ends mm -hmm. so worst case scenario that alone is employing about 400 more people mm -hmm. that we are proud of as a company so these are some of the things that we are proud of as a company when we look back at the success yeah. that's, that's really impressive and then we are happy to hear that you are doing that it's good so um, after all we've talked about if someone wants to venture into commercial snail farming what else would you want to tell that person to encourage that person okay so I'll first take it from the angle of not just snails I'll tell the youth and everybody that wants to go into a Greek is that uh, a Greek is the go-to place to invest now because no matter what there's going to be food scarcity even robots will still need oils from uh, organic source to power their motors and spin their wheels. You know, so no matter what, the I also always say this that the technology boat has almost sailed for Africa mm -hmm. because the whites are now bringing user uh, end user uh, softwares and programs for us to use. There's very little we can do in that space, mm -hmm. but we have so much arable land. We have so much land everywhere. Even our roads can now grow corn and other things at the ends, mm -hmm. you know, which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. So I tell people go into agri, but before you go, do all your major research before. Don't listen to hear say oh yes say you know the normal Ghanaian saying oh I, they say is good, so I go into it. Do your own research mm -hmm. because it's not every agri that is for everybody. There are people that are squirmish, people that don't have patient capital. Snail, for instance, is patient capital okay. because you have to wait for a whole year for it to be matured. So imagine if you go for a loan mm -hmm. and put it in snail, say so you don't tell the loaners that give me a year memoratorium to pay mm -hmm. and they expect you to make maybe a weekly payment, mm -hmm. that is not going to be feasible for you. So mm -hmm. do your research well. Agrec is one of the only places that can give you up to 60% returns on investment. That wouldn't be some other, <laughs> you know, some yeah. things that are very questionable. Yeah. No. But snails, mushrooms, uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. every other thing that you can get your hands on, livestock, yeah. you can sell and get a lot of money within a short time. Yeah. The interesting thing is that most farms are also not taxed. Yes. Because one, if you are youth led, you are exempted from tax. If you are within the belt that is considered outside uh, urban areas, yeah. you are giving tax rebate and tax exemption as well. So, what more better can you do than to go into uh, an, uh, an enterprise that will give you about 60% returns on investment? Mm -hmm. It is very uh, easy for people to enter. So far as you have a little capital, you have a little knowledge and the research you've done. So we encourage everyone to come in because we want to feed Africa, we want to feed the world. Thank you so much. So if someone wants to come to Trisolis, where would we find Trisolis or what numbers can we call? Okay, so Trisolis is uh, on the Google map. So you can do Trisolis and then you can drive here. You can also call us on our uh, following numbers. You can call us on 030 Or you can also call on 0249-234-809. And all these, uh, we also have our social media platforms like on YouTube, you can get us on uh, Trisolis Farms and on Facebook, you can get us on Trisolis Farms and all the social media platforms, you can get us on Trisolis Farms as well. You can also send us a, a WhatsApp and then you can also always walk in Mondays to Fridays 
at our any of our facilities and then we'll be happy to host you and give you free training. Mm.